Hi guys, uh, welcome to Parrot Playhouse. I'm here with Victoria Cockatoo. I wanna give you an update and Mr. Bueno, Thomas himself. Hi Thomas. And my hands look terrible because I've been um, making bird toys, coloring them for Parrot Playhouse bird toys, you guys, because we're getting ready to open our shop up again on August 1st, now that I'm back um, from Florida. My father has not been well, so I've been in Florida. Um, but I'm back and uh, catching up with everything. And I want to catch you up with an update uh, for Victoria. So uh, within 20 hours after landing, uh, I did take um, Victoria to see Dr. G and uh, to get her test results for uh, aspergillosis and other funguses uh, to see if she was positive because we're trying to figure out why is she sneezing. Hi, sweetie. Hi, baby. She's such a good girl. And you're such a good boy, Thomas. I love you. Bless her little heart, you guys. Oh, it's so hard. Um, and it was so hard being away from my birds. I've never been away from my birds this long in my life. Oh, but my mom took such good care of them. So, um, so for those of you uh, that don't know what's going on, Victoria has had uh, respiratory issues. She's been sneezing. So we've been on this quest uh, to try to figure out what is going on with our Victoria cockatoo. Yeah, right, Thomas? Yeah. Okay, if the birds are screaming, sorry, we're in the bird room. I'll make this fast. Sammy, that's just stop, stop. Um, so, and uh, I'll have videos in the description so you can catch up um, with what's going on with Victoria. So we've decided since Victoria was doing good, but then she started to sneeze again now that uh, the test results are negative for fungus. Um, since she started to sneeze again, sh the CAT scan has been scheduled for August 4th. Um, the issue was getting Victoria over there because she gets car sick. Uh, my choices were LA, uh, Shiloh Animal Hospital. So they're in LA and then um, the Bird Hospital in San Francisco. Um, Shiloh is going to come down to Victoria um, on August 4th to do the CAT scan. So I am so appreciative of that. Um, Victoria will have to have anesthesia. She'll have to be sedated. Um, there will be a catheter put in there. Um, she is gonna, they're gonna do it with contrast. So it's contrast that's gonna go in her vein. And then when they put her in the CAT scan machine, it's gonna light up. Um, if there's cancer, if there's a mass, um, we'll be able to see what's going on with her sinuses. Um, we'll be able to see what's going on with her ovaries um, and, and to see if there's cancer, see if there's a mass, hopefully none of the above and everything's gonna be fine and we just have a sneezy bird. Um, which I, I, I don't know. So, um, that's what's going on. Um, Victoria did get, a, another series of cold laser therapy when I did get back, um, which was just a couple days ago. And so she got that to continue to help with her arthritis and pain. And she's doing so good. And she continues her pain meds and she's taking them so good. Yes, she is, and she's just such a baby girl, and I love her so much. And she knows, and she knows everybody out here there loves her, and she's so thankful for all of you, you guys. So I just wanted to let you know how thankful we are for you, right, Thomas? Are we thankful for that? Bueno, bueno, I look terrible. Bueno, well, bueno. Wow! Yeah, we're thankful for every boy. Yes, we're thankful for everybody out there. Yeah, I love you. I I know. I love you so much. Yes. Okay. So that's a big bueno from Mr. Bueno. <laughs> oh my goodness! I missed my birds so much. I just I've never been away that long, and it was so hard. Oh. Um. But they were with my mom. Mom, grandma took good care. I she spoiled this one she spoiled this one because how do you not spoil her and did you get spoiled yeah you got spoiled too everybody got spoiled even the monster chuck man so that's what's going on you guys so i think we're looking at what, a week and a half before she has the big cat scan um there will be an avian veterinarian here uh sedating victoria um, putting her little a catheter in that's going to give her um, the contrast. And so, and then right after that, 
I don't want to say right after that, but quickly after that, she has to get her implant in for her hormones. So she was actually scheduled for that for August 2nd and Dr. G has canceled it because um, it's just too much anesthesia in one week. It's too much for a, a, a bird, It'd probably be too much for a human. Um, so she's going to get, um, that's probably going to happen. We're not quite sure yet, but we can't wait too long, uh, really, uh, a week to two weeks um, after that. So she will be sedated again, and then she will have the implant put in, and then we're still trying to, Dr. G is trying to decide whether she's going to do more blood work on Victoria uh, to see where her hormones are, because we're doing like this test experiment, trying to see um, what her hormone levels are, and in the future, if that'll tell us when exactly we need to put these implants in. Because right now we're just doing it every four months because that's pretty much been, that's what Victoria seems to need. And if we are too late, all hell breaks loose for Victoria. So it, it's it's been, you guys, it's been tough, but you know, she's getting through it. Um, for those of you uh, that say, why, why do I do this to her? Why um, don't I? Um, euthanize her um, that, and, and um, then I'm abusing her um, no I, I'm not abusing Victoria um, she she tells me that she wants to keep going and she'll tell me when she doesn't want to keep going um, this bird is still dancing this bird is she's just incredible <laughs> she's so cool you guys and, and those of you who've been following you, you know she is she's not ready to go so, um, if it ever comes to that point, of course, you know, I, I'll do whatever it takes to give Victoria a good life, uh, do what's best for her. But I, I have to say, I saw uh, some comments and they are building. I, I just want to say, no, we are not there. No. So, um, yeah. So just stop, stop with those comments, please. Um, I'm a human and it hurts to hear that, especially that I'm abusing my bird. Ugh. So I'll write you guys, but for those of you, th everybody that's been supporting Victoria, cheering her on, sending your positive thoughts and prayers, I, I, we can't thank you enough. Right, Thomas? Yeah? Bueno! It's bueno! So he gives you a big bueno, right? Yes, we love you guys, and we're so thankful for you. And I'm going to keep... Keep fighting for her because I know the majority of you, I know 95% of you want me to keep doing that. And so I'm going to keep doing everything possible to get her the best medical care. And she just has the most incredible veterinarian. And now, you know, this whole arrangement with Shiloh Veterinary Hospital, they're coming to her uh, uh, from LA. Like that's a big drive for an avian veterinarian to leave a day and come out here like that. That is just, oh my gosh. I'm so thankful because Victoria can't. She she gets, she gets starts vomiting with just five minutes of being in a car. She gets car sick. So um, this is just an absolute blessing that they've done for her. So we love you guys. And that's our update. Oh, don't you get nesty. That's our update. And um, what do you want to say goodbye? You want to say bye? What? That that is that that is goodbye, Thomas. So bueno is a multi-purpose word. He uses it for everything, right, Thomas? Yeah, every. There you go. So see you later. We love you. Bye. What? Yeah. Bye. <laughs>